Hello planner friends! Today's video is about my goals for July and I am going to first walk you through uh, my different sections of my Franken planner just quickly just so you know how I do this with my goals and maybe this gives you an idea on how to do your goals maybe um, and then I'm gonna walk you through my actual goals because I feel like examples are always like a pretty good way to explain something. So this is my Franken planner and I have different sections in here. The first one being my catch-up planner and my catch-up planner consists of different things. The first thing is social media. I have my YouTube schedule on here on my monthly calendar. I have my personal stuff on my catch-all like appointments and whatnot, meetings with friends. I also have my work on here, uh, like meetings for work and stuff, and my chores, as you can tell by the icons and stuff. So this is what I all put into my catch-all planner. And then we have my health section. And in my health section, I obviously have my workouts, uh, my wellness, and I would actually also like to incorporate more like spirituality and stuff like that, personal development. I wasn't really doing that up until this point, but I really do want to include that. And I actually also like, I have in the beginning of my planner, I have, uh, wait, wait a second, I'm flipping, oopsies, this sticky note just fell off, but I have this 2021 goals page and as you can tell I have different categories and I allotted these categories to different sections in my planner, so wellness, health, spirituality is all in my health section, friends, family, relationship, um, and home is in my catch-all and then career-wise I don't have a separate planner for my work I don't need that I also don't really need to set goals for that but in my career section I also have university and I have a whole other uh, separate planner for that that we're gonna do goals for as well finances I have a budget planner uh, section in the back as well so I have goals for that and business-wise uh, social media is also in my catch-all as I just showed you. So those are the different kinds of categories where I set my goals and so with that information I already drafted out my goals for July. So I set goals in these different kinds of um, like sections of my life I guess or categories of my life uh, let's start with my university goals I have exams in July so I decided on what kind of grade I want to achieve in those um, subjects I think that is pretty maybe I'm not maybe not obvious but it's pretty it's a pretty easy way to set goals for university I feel like by doing it by grades and that's what I'm doing. I also have projects, I call them projects, they are not really projects, but I don't know how to call them otherwise. I have stuff that I have to hand in and I decided on what grade I want to get on those, obviously. So that's a pretty easy, it was pretty easy for me to decide on that. I didn't mention, but I also have a language learning planner. I am studying Italian or I'm learning, I'm not studying, I'm learning Italian. And uh, so I decided on goals for that. Um, I am using Duolingo and that would be something that I would do every day. And so the goal for that would be to do that every day for at least five minutes. And the other thing is I bought this uh, book. This is a textbook for Italian and I would like to um, use this um, as well because I feel like Duolingo is not really teaching me grammar properly that well so I would like to like go through this textbook as well 
and so I decided on five hours well I decided on one lecture or lection or lecture I don't even know what it's called but the first the first part um, here I want to complete this in July and so I thought you know let's just approximate how much time I would need for this I said maybe five hours to complete all this because this also has like activities that you have to do and tasks and stuff and whatnot so I decided maybe five hours and so that would be one hour per week for five weeks of July and this kind of like calculation is going to uh, be like repeated throughout my goals because this is the way I can plan my goals a lot better if I say yeah I want to complete the chapter of this textbook but don't really like put it on my planner or decide on okay when am I gonna do that really quickly it is going to become end of July and I realize oh I forgot to complete this chapter I forgot to do this and that and whatnot because I never planned for it like I, I I don't just you know the time doesn't just magically like appears and I remember to do these things I actively have to make time for them decide how much time I want to spend on these things and then put them into my schedule put them on my planner so I know so this is going to be reoccurring on this list so next topic is social media. I am concentrating on YouTube and Instagram. I want to reach 350 subscribers in YouTube on YouTube and I know that um, numbers are really not the most important thing in the world and statistics and analytics and all that stuff. And as long as I enjoy doing this, it's totally fine and I know that. <laughs> and I am not stressing myself about it. But I feel like with social media, the easiest way to track your progress is by looking at the numbers and so there is a difference in between uh, I am fixating on the numbers and I only care about how many subscribers I have or this is the way I see if I am like going in the right direction if that makes sense so I decided on a number it doesn't really matter that much it's just like you know it gives me uh, a bit of motivation to put out content that maybe reaches more people and it is maybe more interesting. So it's just my way of motivating myself. Um, so I decided on a number and then I broke that number down to how many that would be per week and so how many approximately that would be per day. So it is easier for me to keep track of. If I look at it daily, then I know am I on the right track to reach my goal or is it a lot less? Is it a lot more maybe? <laughs> Who knows? But just, you know, I can easily see that. I can also see on Sundays, okay, was this a good week for my goal? Was it not that good? What can I do to improve that? Same with Instagram. I decided on a number of followers, but it could be anything. Like you don't have to decide on subscribers and followers. You could do views or likes or whatever it is. Saves, DMs, comments, whatever it is that you want to track. It doesn't really matter that much other than if you're maybe doing this professionally and you get paid for that maybe it is something you would want to track differently but for me it's just my hobby so I just want to see so I decided on followers but as I mentioned it doesn't really matter that much so that would be 25 new followers per week and that is three or four per day so next thing is relationship goals I decided on one date night and again I feel like this is something personal for me this is a goal maybe you have a date night every week <laughs> maybe you have I don't know uh, a date night every three months whatever it is it I think it depends on the relationship and whatnot so don't judge me on my one date night goal <laughs> it's just how my relationship dynamics work family goals is to call mom every second Sunday again you can judge me on that if you want maybe you call your mom or your parents every day maybe you do that every two months whatever it is it's all like personal and relationship relationship dynamics in the family that is like different to from family to family so 
this is what works for me and my mom and that's how we do it so it's every second Sunday uh, but I do want to like keep to that home goals is I decided on as you probably saw on my monthly um, I have chores I also have these um, I call them deep cleaning projects like organized kitchen cupboard clean tub or sink clean closet organize fridge and re review budget and i want to complete those in july as well so that is a goal of mine for home fitness goals um that's where we are getting very um statistical or mathematical again i want my weight down to 67 67 67 yeah that's right <laughs> i was like that number sounds odd 67 kilos and so that would be two kilos less by the end of the month and so that would be 0 0.4 kilos per week that's just an easy way for me to track it um i want to reduce the um like my belly fat and stuff it's really not that exciting for you probably but I just calculated like if I want to reach that number, how much that would be per week. Um, so it's easier to keep track. I also want to complete my workout plan to 90%. So that would be 27 days completed. And that might sound like a lot, but I am actually like having like five weeks from beginning to end on this calendar. So it is more than 31 days actually. Um, so it's not that much next is wellness goals uh, drink two liters of water every day in July I, d I have a cup that I drink from I don't have it here but uh, that would be four cups so again it's just like it, telling yourself to drink two liters of water is like not specific enough i feel like at least it's not specific enough for me like how do i know when i hit the goal like two liters is like i don't know how much is that <laughs> but if i break it down to okay i have my water cup that i always drink water from how many of those i have to drink to reach the goal then it's a lot easier to track <laughs> it's four i don't have to measure the water in like a measuring cup or something to know that i reach two liters I just measure it by my cups and I know it's maybe obvious to some of you maybe it is a good idea to to others <laughs> out there spirituality oh, I can't talk spirituality goals I decided to reread two books for that and these are the two books these are my July reads I read these books multiple times already but I love both of these. So this is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle and this is The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. And I love these two for spirituality a lot. These always ground me, I love them so much. I really need this because July is exam season so I need the grounding. And so I decided, well, I looked up how many pages these have and obviously how many days the month has, it's 31. And divided that by two because I'm reading two books so and then divided the 15 or 16 days by no I divided the pages in the books by the days to get how many pages I have to read per day I also have like a personal development bundle on of course on course I can't talk really a bundle of courses I got um, and I really want to finish one course and that has 24 lections so I am going to schedule on my calendar what, what 24 days I'm going to do the lections on. Last but not least financial goals. I don't really have huge goals because I am not that great of financially. I am a student, I have student debt and whatnot. So my goals is to my goals are to set my budget and then no spend and to stick to that, to keep track of my expenses all month and also to sell stuff that I have that I don't need <laughs> to just get a little extra money. So you might notice that I highlighted some things. I decided to put some of these things into my morning routine. So that would be Duolingo, 
drinking maybe a cup of water uh, in the morning. So I already have one down. Then reading and like a lection from this course. That would be, that would consist of my morning routine. And so that is what I marked there. Okay, so I talked a lot. Now, what now? <laughs> I decided on all of these. So according to the categories that I put into the different sections of my planner, I am going to put my goals into my planner. So I told you on my catch up planner, I have social media, relationship, family and home goals. These goals must go into this section because this is what I do in this section, if that makes sense. So the question is only where am I going to put this? So I have this small monthly goal section here, probably going to put it here. But I am also thinking of using um, some filler paper. Let me let me get that because that is um, this one. Not not this one, but this one. Um, probably gonna use this for my catch-all as well. And then. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this page in a second and probably speed that part up, but I'm just going to, I'm going to probably do all of my goal pages in one part and speed that part up. So I just want to explain to you before I start. Um, next section would be uh, health. Uh, where is my, there it is. Um, where am I going to put these goals? Um, let me see. Where can I put my goals for my health? Well, it doesn't fit on my monthly. That's for sure. I have weekly goals here. I'm gonna put weekly goals there, but I also want to put monthly goals, obviously, somewhere. Um, maybe this page would be good for that, but it's actually for like after, you know, it's like a, um, a review of the month at the end of the month. Okay, maybe, maybe just another one of these sheets for my health as well, because I don't have a dedicated section in my planner now. Um, or those pages that I'm using don't have space. So let me grab another one. Okay, that's for health. And then the last section is going to be budget. And I am going to put my goals on, on here, on one of these pages. Um, yes, I think that's gonna be fine. So you're gonna see me do that in a second as well. And now let's quickly move on to my other planners for my language learning goals I am going to put that probably over here or on the sidebar I'm gonna figure that out in a second um, I'm gonna see me do that and then my university planner I am going to put my goals for that into my extension pack because it has an extra sheet for that so that's gonna be that's going to be all on this page. So now you know what I'm going to do in a second. So let me just get started and speed this part up. So I'm just going to transfer the information to my planner. So I am done transferring the information from that sheet of paper in onto my planner pages. So this is obviously for my university planner. I just put down the information that I talked to you about. And let me just um, put everything back to its place. Um, 
because while I was doing this, I uh, realized some stuff. So this is for my language learning. I put a habit tracker for Duolingo since I wanted to do that every day for five minutes. I'm gonna check that off. And textbook, I put a checklist for with five uh, bullet points so I can check off every week that I did an hour. Um, I thought that would be a pretty good way to do this. So that is now on my July page. Financial goals wise, I filled out this uh, filler paper sheet that I talked to you about. I'm just gonna put it back. And also I might just, um, well, I don't really have to put this kind of information on my monthly page because this is something I'm continuously doing I feel like but if you have any kind of um, tips or ideas on how to uh, keep track of these goals like keeping to my budget um, keeping track of expenses I mean I could probably do like a weekly budget review that I could schedule to make sure I hit this goal. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. But that's gonna be in a budget video. So <laughs> now let's move to my fitness goals or my health goals, I guess. Where is it? There is it. So I did the following. I put for long-term goals, I put fitness and spirituality because I can like, I can track weekly here as well but i can track uh, like a progress in a progress bar so i could check off if i like did like managed to hit those goals for each week of the month and then track the progress and then also the, my reading like because i am reading two books i want to read the one in the first half of the month and the second book in the second half so i can check off like week one two maybe three for the first and then three four five for the second or something and if i did that like every day so i also put this this stuff on as a weekly goal if i hit the drinking of water goal for every a week i if i hit my reading goal for every week if i hit my workout goal and my personal development course goal if that makes sense to you and the daily I put the morning routine that kind of summarizes a lot of these and also the two liters of water because I feel like that is something I could definitely keep track of every day. So that is for my health and then let's go back to uh, my catch-all. Where am I gonna put this? Probably just in front of my monthly. So I put social media if I hit my goal for each week. Home if I did my deep cleaning project for each week. If I did my chores each week. Date night I'm gonna mark on which week that was. Calm on every Sunday if I did that on every second Sunday. And then YouTube if I hit my daily goal, if I hit my daily goal for Instagram and if I did my chores for each day. So that's uh, my goal setting page for my catch-all. But while I was doing this, I realized I wanted to use this um, Girl with Goals guided journal extension, not extension, guided journal. It's a Girl with Goals guided journal <laughs> section that I took out of the journal and put it in here. And so this one is for goal setting as well. So I also have to fill this out. Now this one comes with space for three big goals. So I am thinking I am not going to use this section only for catch-all goals, like catch-all goals, like goals that I would put in my catch-all because my catch-all has the like set uh, topics of my life. I'm going to probably use this section for all of the different kinds of, kinds of goals in my life. So I'm probably going to pick the three biggest goals out of all of my sections. One of them is definitely going to be university and even though I am not planning in this planner for university this is more like a journaling section so it's really fine that I put that on here. So I'm gonna probably pick like 
practicing exams with the grade that I want to achieve as one goal. Probably the second one would be something health related. Um, so maybe the big goal would be to complete like 90% of my workout plan. That would be pretty good, an ambitious goal to reach. And the third one, what is gonna be the third one? Um, maybe something catch-all related. Social media could be one. Yeah, just to hit my social media goals would be maybe the third one. So those would be the three big goals for July out of three different kinds of um, areas of my life. So, and then monthly habit tracker, this is really good. This is really good. I could track all the stuff that I just mentioned, like how, if I did my reading, if I did all that kind of stuff. I might have to like speed this part up again while I'm figuring out what to put um, so you don't have to suffer through this. <laughs> But I am definitely going to fill this one out now, I think. Oh, and then the dailies. Oh, I love the dailies. Okay. So let me just, uh, let me just pull these pages out and get down to figuring out goals for the month. Okay, I think I am done. I filled out these pages. Um, as you can tell, I hope. Um, I chose my goals. I chose what I'm gonna track. I listed three things that can help me achieve my goals. I listed three things that inspire me. I wrote down some positive things that will come from accomplishing my goals. That was for the whole month. And then I also did the weekly already, this week's big goals, a positive quote, important due dates, and then basically kind of the same thing as on the other side. And then I wrote some, wrote about some milestone from, milestones from last week. And I am going to fill out these dailies for every day. That's gonna be fun. So let me put it back. So goal setting I feel like is pretty much complete now for July. A lot of thoughts and work went into this. So I will see if this helps me achieve my goals. I really hope it does because I really do want to achieve my goals. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions let me know. and. Uh, obviously what I didn't do but what I'm gonna do is put on my calendar um, calling mom and the date night once I schedule that with my boyfriend I have this on my calendar already uh, I am not gonna track this on my monthly calendar but only um, digitally um, so that was the catch-up planner goals and then we saw this just get done and then the goals for my health. I am probably just gonna track my stats on the back side. That's probably gonna be the easiest, like my weight and my measurements and stuff. And with the books, you may already saw that I put this little page flag into here. This is on page 12. So this is this is what I have to read today. And I'm just gonna move it 12 pages ahead every time. So that's the way I'm gonna track my reading and obviously gonna like check it off. And then drinking enough water, I'm gonna track on my weekly page because this one has uh, the water tracker 
workouts I am tracking on my weekly page and the personal development course I'm gonna probably put on my monthly on the days where I want to do it and track it that way and obviously the morning routine uh, thing kind of includes a lot of these already so that's how I'm gonna track those goals and for the budget I don't really have to track that well I don't really have to track anything for that pretty much I might have to, to just you know do my daily expenses and to do that every day that would be something I would might want to track so that's the way I'm gonna do that how am I gonna make sure I hit my language learning goals I already showed you I think but I'm just gonna check off Duolingo obviously Duolingo has its own tracking system in the app so that works fine as well and the textbook I am gonna check off these weeks and maybe just probably just gonna set a day for every week where I'm gonna do the textbook work and the university goals um, well I already have my um, exam plan so that's what I'm gonna follow and that actually makes sure that I hit my goals or at least I hope it does <laughs> So that would be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I also have an Instagram account if you want to follow me over there. I only post head planner stuff, so if you're interested, I'm going to leave it in the description box. And other than that, I hope you have an awesome day and that we see each other very soon. Until then, bye!